<clears throat> Sorry. Uh, saw the movie last night. Truly incredible, man. Oh, the best you. the best compliment I can give it is that it felt like a hug. Right. You know, it was sure. truly sure. Truly astonishing. Um and I have to applaud Ryan Coogler, you know, he yes. uh, you know, tremendous task. Um what separates him from other directors that have been in the MCU? Oh, uh well I think what makes him what makes Ryan Ryan is he is an incredibly intuitive uh and sensitive person. Uh and I think the degree of difficulty of this movie is incredibly high. Mm. Um and and he not only had to figure out how to craft a story that felt cohesive and interesting and emotional, but also guide a cast and crew through a process that was difficult, um, because everybody felt that loss pretty acutely, and we were shooting during COVID. So you're you know I think he's a fantastic leader of people and a very collaborative person, which which I think inspired people to kind of come together um, and and bring this movie over the finish line because it needed everybody, you know what I mean? It, it wasn't a movie that could be made by any single person, and, and Ryan is such a good leader that he brought, he brought everybody together for this collective goal. I'm sure you look at, you know, most of the movies and projects as, as kids almost, you know, it's probably yeah. hard to pick a favorite, it is but uh, I can imagine, <laughs> um, and you know, such so many, uh, so many great films and shows. Yeah. Uh, this has to be special and different. Like, what would you, you know, I don't know, ranking or what would you? you yeah, it's, I mean, I, I can't rank them because uh, they all are special. And, and the experience is, for me, the experience of making the movie colors how I, how I see the, 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 finished, uh, the finished version of it. Um, this was incredibly intense and personal, be, again, because of the loss and because it's a sequel. So you, you become sort of familial with the cast and the crew and and it was a long shoot so we really and it was COVID again all the <laughs> pressures of the movie really bonded people um, and so um, there is a closeness to the to the cast and crew that is not always achievable in other films sometimes you have people coming and going mm. um, uh, and in this case I think everybody uh, sort of came together and I think will remain bonded because of the experience of making it that's truly beautiful, and it yeah. comes across on screen as well. Yeah, so, um, yes, definitely. Uh, what are the future plans for Wakanda, for Namor, for his people? Uh, I mean, you haven't seen the last of Namor or Talo Khan, to be sure, and I think by the end of this movie, Wakanda finds itself maybe for the first time in a precarious position on the world stage, yeah. and I and I think uh, the new Black Panther is going to figure out how to navigate that. Um, but that's those are stories we're excited to to continue mm -hmm. forward. And lastly, uh, this is more of a, I don't know, personal request. Uh, Can Ryan direct Secret Wars? <laughs> oh, that's, that's, like, not an, that's not a question for me, my friend. I mean, friend. no, you're, if it's a Kevin <laughs> question, if you're a Kevin's <laughs> ear, and you can, like, kind of, you know, throw that out there. Yeah, I hey. think, uh, I, I, look, I, you're not the first person to ask, yeah. but, but, boy, that is, that is up to that man and that man alone. Oh, so after seeing this, I really, you know, I hope that's the case. But, uh, again, awesome. congratulations. Thank you so much. It's really great. Yeah, good to meet you. Likewise, Thank man. you so much.